we have to keep up the rescue effort to keep finding survivors in the rubble, he said on a visit to neighboring Puebla State, also badly hit. No to machinery. Yes to hope, read 100 and sign outside a toppled building in Mexico City. Continue, but until when? There are no indications of anyone inside but they're not sure enough to affirm there's really no one. The camera used doesn't allow a full view, explained Daniel Quiraz, a 22-year-old volunteer. Keep the faith, in all likelihood, the death toll was going to rise above the latest figure of 291 given by the Civil Protection Service. Since the quake, 115 survivors have been plucked from the rubble, according to the Mexican military. The rest of the deaths occurred in the nearby regions of Morelos, Mexico State, Puebla, Guerrero, and Oaxaca. They had pulled 28 survivors from the mountain of rubble Indiana two days. But on Friday, despair was setting in. Anxious relatives kept vigil, their faces pallid. Some averted their gaze from the rubble. Tents set up for them were unslept in. Keep the faith. A Spanish rescue worker urged the families waiting at the site. Foreign rescue teams, several countries, including the United States, Israel, Panama and EU states have sent crews to help. Overnight rain had caused saturated debris to become heavier and shift, he explained. In the south of Mexico City, at a flattened school where 19 children died, white wreaths lay out, testimony to the mourning of relatives and neighbors. The charity group Save the Children said 100,000 children in Mexico City were affected by the quake, with hundreds of them left to sleep in the streets and parks despite around 50 shelters being opened. Many adults wondered where they and their families will live after the quake damaged more than 2,000 homes, most of which were not insured. I'm waiting for the Civil Protection Service to tell me if we can go home or not, said street vendor Erica Alberin who has been staying with her family in a shelter for people with no place to go. Her family has only 100 pesos, dollar, among them and she doesn't know how they will manage once assistance such as food, shelter and baby supplies runs out. We don't have cash. We're living day to day, she said. Tuesday's tragedy struck just two hours after Mexico held a national earthquake drill, as it does every year on the anniversary of the 1985 quake.